Semester Secrets It was a typical autumn morning in the charming town of Heidelberg, nestled along the serene Necker River. The air was crisp, leaves rustled underfoot, and the aroma of fresh pretzels wafted through the cobblestone streets. In this picturesque European setting, a teenager named Mia found herself embarking on a new chapter of her life, higher studies at the esteemed University of Heidelberg. Mia, a lively and ambitious young woman with a penchant for history, had always dreamt of studying abroad. Her fascination with the past led her to pursue a degree in archaeology, and Heidelberg offered the perfect blend of academia and history. As Mia settled into her dorm room, she couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and nervousness. During Mia's first week of classes, she met a fellow student named Lucas, a friendly and outgoing German guy with a passion for ancient artifacts. The two quickly became inseparable study partners, exploring the campus and engaging in animated conversations about their shared interests. One day, while sipping coffee at a quaint cafe, Mia and Lucas overheard snippets of a conversation in German from the neighboring table. The mysterious dialogue intrigued them, and they decided to investigate further. As they delved into the local archives, Mia and Lucas uncovered a forgotten tale of a hidden treasure buried beneath the historic Heidelberg Castle. Driven by curiosity and fueled by the prospect of a thrilling adventure, Mia and Lucas began a clandestine quest to unearth the long-lost treasure. Along the way, they encountered cryptic clues and riddles that tested their intellect and teamwork. Their journey took them through hidden passages, ancient libraries, and secret chambers, bringing them closer to the heart of the mystery. As Mia and Lucas delved deeper into the puzzle, they found themselves entangled in a web of intrigue involving a group of enigmatic individuals with ties to the castle's past. The duo's pursuit of knowledge transformed into a race against time, with the fate of the treasure hanging in the balance. During a moonlit night, Mia and Lucas stumbled upon a hidden chamber beneath the castle, filled with dusty manuscripts and ancient relics. The room resonated with the whispers of the past, and as Mia translated an inscription, the truth began to unfold. The treasure they sought was not gold or jewels, but a forgotten love story between a German princess and a humble artisan. The revelation left Mia and Lucas awestruck, realizing that their quest had uncovered a piece of history that had long been overshadowed by the passage of time. However, just as they marveled at the romantic tale, a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness a descendant of the princess, determined to keep the family secret hidden. The descendant, a stoic man named Klaus, explained the significance of preserving the past and protecting the legacy of his ancestors. Mia and Lucas, torn between their passion for discovery and respect for Klaus's wishes, faced a moral dilemma. The weight of their decision hung in the air as they grappled with the consequences of revealing or concealing the truth. In a heartfelt conversation with Klaus, Mia and Lucas realized the importance of preserving the delicate balance between uncovering history and respecting the wishes of those who came before. As the trio emerged from the hidden chamber, 
The moon cast its gentle glow on Heidelberg Castle, where the echoes of the past coexisted with the vibrant energy of the present. The story, titled Semester Secrets, concluded with Mia and Lucas choosing to honor the legacy of the hidden love story by keeping it a secret, respecting the wishes of Klaus, and acknowledging the complexities of preserving history. The tale served as a poignant reminder that sometimes, the most valuable treasures are not material possessions, but the stories that connect us across time and generations. Weeks turned into months as Mia and Lucas navigated the challenges of university life. Their bond grew stronger, fueled by shared academic pursuits and a shared love for Heidelberg's rich culture. As the winter chill settled over the town, Mia and Lucas found themselves drawn into a new mystery that would test their friendship and unravel hidden truths. One evening, as they attended a local folklore event, Mia and Lucas encountered an eccentric professor named Dr. Schmidt. Dr. Schmidt, an expert in European mythology, shared tales of a long-forgotten legend that hinted at a mythical artifact believed to grant extraordinary powers. Intrigued by the prospect of uncovering a piece of ancient magic, Mia and Lucas embarked on a journey that took them beyond the university's walls. Their quest led them to the Black Forest, a dense and mysterious expanse of trees shrouded in legends. Deep within the forest, Mia and Lucas stumbled upon an ancient temple, its weathered stones telling tales of a bygone era. As they explored the dimly lit corridors, they encountered symbols and inscriptions that hinted at the artifact's existence. Their search intensified as they deciphered cryptic messages left behind by a secretive society that had guarded the artifact for centuries. Along the way, Mia and Lucas faced challenges that tested their courage and intellect. The trail led them to encounters with enigmatic characters who seemed to possess otherworldly knowledge. One day, as they delved deeper into the heart of the Black Forest, Mia and Lucas discovered an underground chamber bathed in an eerie glow. At its center lay the mythical artifact, a glowing orb that pulsated with an otherworldly energy. Before they could grasp its significance, the same shadowy figure from their previous adventure, Klaus, appeared before them. Klaus, now a guardian of ancient secrets, warned them of the artifact's power and the consequences of its misuse. Mia and Lucas, torn between the allure of supernatural abilities and the responsibility of safeguarding the artifact, faced a moral dilemma once again. As they deliberated their next move, the temple began to quake, and the glow of the artifact intensified. Unbeknownst to Mia and Lucas, their quest had triggered an ancient enchantment, awakening forces that sought to reclaim the artifact and restore balance to the mystical energies within the Black Forest. In a race against time, Mia and Lucas, with Klaus by their side, found themselves in a battle between ancient magic and modern intellect. The once quiet black forest roared with elemental fury, as Mia and Lucas grappled with the realization that their actions had set in motion a series of events that would shape the destiny of not just Heidelberg, but the very fabric of the supernatural realm. In a climactic showdown, Mia and Lucas had to make a choice, whether to embrace the ancient magic and risk the unknown consequences, or to relinquish the artifact and let the forces of the black forest reclaim their balance. 
The decision hung in the air as the three friends faced the consequences of their quest, caught between the mysteries of the past and the uncertainties of the future. The story, titled Whispers of the Black Forest, left readers on the edge of their seats, wondering how Mia and Lucas would navigate the delicate balance between the tangible world of academia and the intangible forces that lurked within the shadows of the ancient woods. Winter yielded to the gentle embrace of spring, and the once tumultuous energies of the Black Forest began to settle. Mia, Lucas, and Klaus emerged from the ancient temple, their minds reeling from the revelations and dilemmas that had unfolded within its depths. Despite the lingering uncertainty, the trio returned to Heidelberg, where the rhythms of university life awaited them. Back on campus, Mia and Lucas resumed their studies, but the mystical undertones of their recent adventure lingered in the air. Dr. Schmidt, the eccentric professor who had set them on this path, continued to be an enigmatic presence on campus. He would occasionally share tidbits of lore and wisdom with Mia and Lucas, leaving them to ponder the thin veil that separated the known and the unknown. As the semester progressed, Mia and Lucas found themselves drawn into a series of lectures that explored the intersection of science and mythology. Dr. Schmidt, now a mentor figure, guided them through the fascinating realms of alchemy, ancient rituals, and the uncharted territories where the tangible and the mystical converged. Amidst their academic pursuits, Mia and Lucas stumbled upon an ancient text in the university library that hinted at a celestial event tied to the Black Forest's magical energies. The alignment of stars, an event that occurred once every century, was said to open a portal to a dimension where untold knowledge awaited those brave enough to seek it. Intrigued by the prospect of unlocking the secrets of the cosmos, Mia and Lucas embarked on a new quest. This time, their journey took them to the far reaches of the Bavarian Alps, where the celestial event was set to occur. Along the way, they encountered fellow scholars who shared their fascination with the mystical and the unexplained. As the stars aligned over the towering peaks of the Alps, Mia and Lucas stood at the threshold of the portal. The air crackled with energy, and a shimmering gateway opened before them, revealing a realm of cosmic wonders. Guided by the knowledge they had acquired and the bond they had forged, Mia and Lucas stepped into the unknown. In the celestial dimension, they encountered beings of light and wisdom, entities that transcended the boundaries of time and space. These ethereal guardians imparted ancient knowledge, revealing the interconnectedness of all things and the delicate balance that held the universe together. As Mia and Lucas absorbed the cosmic wisdom, they understood the importance of safeguarding the delicate equilibrium between the tangible and the metaphysical. The celestial beings entrusted them with the task of being stewards of the mystical forces that permeated the world, bridging the realms of the known and the unknowable. With newfound purpose, Mia and Lucas returned to Heidelberg their minds brimming with the weight of cosmic knowledge. Dr. Schmidt, ever the guide, applauded their journey and acknowledged the pivotal role they now played in preserving the delicate balance between science and magic. The story, titled Celestial Convergence, concluded with Mia and Lucas realizing that the pursuit of knowledge was a journey without end, and that the mysteries of the universe would forever beckon those who dared to seek understanding beyond the confines of the ordinary.
As they embraced their roles as guardians of the mystical, Mia and Lucas looked toward the horizon, where the ever-expanding tapestry of the unknown awaited their exploration.